guess where I am? I'm at Danny's apartment and I want to know what kind of stuff he has around the house to actually start mixed media journaling because we are doing that course and it's pretty exciting. We all have so many art supplies, so I want to check out what he has. Danny, mm -hmm. are you excited about mixed media? I am. Have a seat. Oh, thanks. I am because I have all these art supplies and I, I feel guilty about them because I bought them at various points. I'm like, okay, now one day I'll find a use for these things. So, and meanwhile, I shudder to think what condition they're even in. So I have my art supply cart mm -hmm. and I have, I have them in little boxes and I have here, I have some various sketchbooks that are working. I've got some pens here. I've got more pens in here. Um, so I have lots of things there. Let's just through these because I haven't honestly looked and I'm, I'm not sure that even what's in there will be any good. Mm, there might be surprises in there. Yeah. So this is my, these are my super fat markers. What else? I've got dip pens. Probably going to use those, I imagine. I got uh, some gouache, maybe, but I'm going to try and stay away from my traditional materials, but we'll see. Um, tubes of watercolors. So gouache might come into play. And yeah, these because they're yeah. op opaque, so those yeah, could be... like this one. Stiff as a rock. So this is also an opportunity to just throw some stuff out, maybe? And buy some more stuff. Stamps and stamp pads. These could be useful. Again, not sure if um, the condition they're in. Not sure even when I bought them. Let's see, watercolors, more gouache, book binding tools. So, Are you gonna make your own book? One of our teachers, Keisha, is gonna show us how to make a little book. So it's possible because I do have, like I have a book binding twine, and I have a needle in here and I have some other stuff so maybe maybe that'll come in useful but also notice dusty oh boy oh boy so yeah so that is not a good sign these are Dr. P.H. Martin's uh what translucent watercolors but as you'll notice oh. a lot of them are dried up in here more nibs and in here graphite it's so well organized Isn't it? stuff. Yeah. Colored pencils. Did you just wipe off the dust? Yeah, I just wipe off the oh, dust. Oh boy. More colored pencils. Um, refills and tombos. So these are my tombow pens that I usually like to draw with. And of course, these are some refills for my fountain pen. And what is this? Daniel Smith watercolors. Another set of watercolors, another set of watercolors, another set of watercolors, <laughs> um, more colored pencils, what's yeah, in here, more pencils, more pencils, not sure if I'm going to use those, but we'll see. It's a nice set, I never use it, as you can see there's dust around it. Yeah. Uh, various various palettes and then these are all my doc martin um translucent watercolors that i use quite a lot so i have i have lots and lots and lots of these rubber stamps and alphabets those can come in really uh, handy some, yeah some more more um stamps and more rubber stamp pads these are bingo markers that come in some use i don't know and uh Acrylic gel medium and molding pastes. I didn't even know I had these. Golden and dusty. This could be cool. These might come into play. Very Did you excited. really forget about these? I absolutely forgot about them and they're completely covered with dust. I don't know why I got them. Did somebody give them to me? I don't even remember. Well, yes. now you have a reason to use them. All right, so here, more watercolors, um, rubber stamps. We've got my Danny rubber stamp. I've got my Shut Your Monkey rubber stamp. Who knows, might come in useful. 
What is this? Blending medium. What for? Watercolors, I think. And iridescent medium. Um, a sewing awl. Not even sure what that is. I bought it in 1856. <laughs> Haven't gotten to use it yet, but you can tell by the packaging. It's very old, but also brand new, never been touched. So, um, what are those? They might be gouache, but they're probably garbage. And I have things like this. What will you do with that? I, will, I don't know. Have you ever done anything with it? It doesn't look like it. <laughs> Van Gogh action figure. Very important. Uh, Van Gogh <laughs> finger puppet. Um, Van Gogh something else. We Please, just, we just got just, that in there. His name is Van Gogh. Van Gogh. All right, so lots of brushes. I've got bottles of ink. I've got at least one glue stick. And acrylic ink. And then I've got these markers over here. My favorites, the echo lines. I think that they could become useful. I've got these that are watercolor brushes. We'll see what happens with them. I've got this, a secret drawer. Oh. What's in here? Lots of painting towels and crayons. Crayons, crayons, <laughs> crayons. Small box of crayons. Clay color kids tempera, solid tempera could come into play, right? Absolutely. Um, this is my pig, girl on a pig sculpture. More little tiny <laughs> watercolor snips. Yeah, all right, so. Will you be doing any stenciling? Because I don't see anything that's... So I tried stenciling when we were shooting with Mary Beth. Mm -hmm. And I found it challenging, so I need to practice. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't buy any stencils, I could make some. And maybe Mary Beth will talk about that. I don't know. So maybe stenciling. I don't know. I, I, I need to know a bit more about it to know if that's a thing that I would like. But I'm trying to kind of come up with my philosophy for what I'll do during this course. Like, am I going to tr am I going to just play around? Am I going to try to really express myself and to do actual journaling and to write stuff? I mean, one of the things I love about illustrated journaling is like writing stuff and then putting stuff on top of it. Oh, I know. Come over here. There's one other thing I want to show you. These are magazines we haven't gotten around to throwing away yet. There's things like this. This is an old oh. car magazine from the early 60s. So things like this seem appealing to me. So in general, lots of cool things to play with and probably a lot of stuff to throw away. So we'll see what, we'll see what this all brings. But um, I can't wait to start mixed media journaling in about a week. So if you haven't signed up for it, I hope you do. Um, because there's lots to learn, there's lots to experience, there's a lot of great stories in this class, there's a lot of beautiful art, and it just gets you fired up. So I'm pretty psyched. See you there.